me to actually doing some link um, basically doing some link in um, ASP.net and I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been kind of learning here on oh, my screen going a little slow here okay so what I have here is an application that I was actually modeling after to kind of show you how this gets started basically links allow you to take collection lists and you can actually stick them like into side of a grid view and bind them that way and show them up on the screen I kind of created my own little sequence here where you click on buttons and it'll allow you to basically pull up that uh, data from those collection lists so anyways um this is kind of the the designer screen right here so basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be clicking on a checkbox and there's going to be three different websites one of these is mine and just uh, two other sites that i've used frequently and then you'll hit the query button and then that will take you inside to do an actual search in in the grid view and i'll show you that when i run it here First, I wanted to kind of go over the source code here, or the XML code. Okay, so the way this works is it's basically running in the the server right here. You can see it's actually set up inside of a form. It stays on the client and it doesn't really go to the server side. So, I mean, basically, this is what the the whole point of this uh, code is showing. When you look here and it says script run at equals server, it means it's actually well, actually, it is actually running at the server then, but it, it stays on one page. I only have this actually on one page, but it's still running. You may have seen this before where code is actually embedded directly inside, like your um, C-sharp code is directly, or VB code is directly embedded inside of the, um, the XML code instead of just, you know, where you would click the button and you would do, like, the, the code behind here. There's nothing over here taking place, but actually it's all happening over there instead. It's just another way to... Um, to run it. So what it's doing here basically is I'm um, setting up a class here which I called website data which actually basically creates a set of variables here from website owner excuse me website owner copyright year listing website stats and it uses like get and setters they're known as get and setters which would be used down here later in the program to build a collection list. And if you actually need even more of a guide, you can even visit my website at www.programmermind.com to get more of um, a documentation view on it instead of, you know, just hearing the audio and stuff like that. Because sometimes, you know, it can be, I think the audio can be helpful too, but it's helpful to read stuff too. The next thing here is, um, this is actually the button. If I go back here to the design, you'll see the buttons right here. And over here in the properties window, this is button 1. And basically, this is setting up the the first method call to the button. And then here, I'm going to be setting up my first, um, what's actually known as an array. And inside the array, I'm actually storing a set of um, the websites that I'll actually you'll be able to actually query later when I show you when it gets ran here. Okay, and then after this, there's a variable set up to reference a method later down here in the program called get website. And let me scroll down there real quick here. It's right here where I was showing you earlier. Basically, it sets up the, the generic list that will actually be referenced through the grid view later. And then these are the variables. Probably the best thing to do would be to run this, and then I can probably go and explain it, because sometimes I can sit there. And you can sit there, and you can tell everybody everything, but until they really see it, I mean, a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's just go ahead and run it here. Take a second. I have a million boxes open here, so I'm going to shut some of these. Okay, so what this is actually doing... Okay, what this is actually doing, as I mentioned earlier, is you would click on a button here, and it's going to access the, the data that's put into those collection lists. And here, I would just click on my website, and you'll see the, the grid view comes up, and it shows the, the object. This is basically the whole object, and this is actually the arrays that's actually building into all these. So... This is the, the the website, obviously the owner, copyright, the listing. Actually, you know, I should have probably changed that. I had that for something else. But this is the the website stats. Basically, it's um showing you the the time and everything and stuff like that. So the date and the time actually. So okay, and then the next thing here is um just to play around. Let's go ahead and uh. Well, I know what this is actually. This is the year I think, 
or something. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on another one. It'll switch out. This is just another different site, and you notice how it's changed when I click the button there. And of course, if I click the other one, it's going to change to the third one. Now, the nice thing about this is you can even select more than one. It'll actually bring them back up on the screen, or all three of them, however you want to do it. Okay, so you've seen that run, and that's basically what it's doing. It's accessing the controls, and everything's being commanded directly here from the checkboxes. So let me go ahead and skip back over to ASP here. I'll keep this on the side if I need to explain something too. Okay, so where I left off here, as you've already seen, just by running this, this is basically um, picking up. What it's doing is it's doing a scan for these areas for the website areas. So any of these three areas you'll see these are right here. And these are being scanned to determine which checkbox you're clicking on. And that's a little bit farther down here. If you look here you'll see this is a uh, checkbox one. So basically it's going through a for loop here and it's cycling through the array that we set up right here. You notice the array is called website array and down here it's website array. So zero basically means it's picking up the first one. This is zero right here. And then this one is this one right here. This two is obviously this one. Yes, because the race started zero. So zero, one, two. And then once it once it does that, it scans the array. It basically adds it to a collection list, which allows you to to see it as it c continues to build it here. And then it shows it in a grid view later here. Now I could have just stuck a series of grid views here, but I didn't want to have a lot of repetitive code, even though some of this is still repetitive like this. Um, I'm kind of that person who really likes to cut back on efficiency, so I set up my own little method here called show grid view, and it basically it's an overloaded method and it, or overload constructor, and it passes this direct excuse me overloaded method. It passes this directly into the search array, which basically the search is picking up what was in I showed you down here, which basically picking up in the collection list down here. And there you also know this is called the generic list. So going down here this is the method that's set up and all it's basically is just binding everything to the to the um, excuse me the grid view through the, um, the the data that's found in the collection list and it's passed basically by reference to this uh, object I had a little bit of trouble with this first because basically I tried to like do something like this just kind of show you and you get nothing by error messages because it's not actually trying to pass a string it's trying to pass an object so if you ever have that let me see if I can actually run it I don't know if you're going to be able to see this error message actually I have to enlarge this for you probably to see it yeah down here it's kind of let's scoot this up a little bit it's kind of showing you it doesn't understand what you're trying to do here trying to trying to convert from a system generic collection list to a string it doesn't understand that. It's just trying to pass an object into a string so if you ever get that error message basically just go back and pass it by an object instead. Right, and this just returns the value to bring it back. Remember it's just bringing it back. Oops, did I fix this? Yeah, it's bringing it back basically into each method call right there. Okay, and this is obviously pretty self-explanatory. This is where you basically build your list. Now, I just set up a, a series here. I actually based this off a book where they had their own, and I kind of added my individual ones. They were using uh, movies as an example, different movie names and directors and stuff like that. And I actually just decided to use it for like websites, so I didn't want to basically think I was copying directly off of somebody. And also, it helps me understand it better too. So, and this just returns basically best returns the value basically here into the list here which is actually passed off to the the method and that's um, pretty much how this uh, one works it's pretty basic for a link example but links are pretty cool I mean think about it you can sit there and build all this data then instantly pass it into here without having to basically pull it from a database or something like that so it works pretty efficient you can use it for searches and there's a lot of other stuff you can do with it but this is kind of just a tutorial I'd probably say a beginner tutorial on link because basically this was like the first part of the link chapter of the book I was reading. The book is actually called ASP.NET 4 and C Sharp in VB. And it's actually written by uh, Bill Evgen, Scott Hanselman, and Devine, or Devin Rader. So those are the people. Anyways, um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. You know, 
uh, feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments. You know, I'll always be happy to go ahead and reply to you. Or like I said, just um, welcome to, to visit my website. You know, let me just pull it back up here to uh, show you real quick. I have another video on this, but right here basically. And I modified it a little bit better here. If you go to the website, you notice it, it's been changed. So I added some a new logo stuff like here. And if you also, I kind of expand this tutorial a little bit. If you wanted to see the tutorial link here, actually I created a new section here on the website which is basically called What's New. And in this section I'll, I'll keep you updated with the stuff I add. So here I just basically included the new link page. You just click on it and it'll take you directly to that section. And this is basically everything I just went over here with a little bit more detailed explanation. So thanks and if you're interested in this uh, channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.